Hello there, Master Hellish here, and welcome to my loathsome live Minecraft multiplayer Let's Play thing. Um, now, I say it's live. Um, this video actually wasn't recorded live. Um, I'm unable to do the video live on the time that I normally do it, so I, this is a pre recorded episode, uh, recorded the weekend before. But uh, that just means we haven't got the Twitch chat today. I'm all alone. And actually, that feels a bit sad. Um, I've just realised that um, these blocks here were there to facilitate the ladders to get up to the top. And they're no longer required. So let me just see. Have I got any blue glass left? Yes. Why is this all out of alignment? Okay. Uh, blue glass there. So I'm just going to uh, pop these out and uh, pop them in. Oh, that's better. I like that. I have to be careful here. Uh, just knock that off there and put the glass back. There we go. Gonna have to. F oh, didn't mean to do that. Uh, gonna have to find somewhere else to uh, put these item. Well, that's really weird. The item frame did not fall. Did I just do it quickly enough? Possibly. I possibly just did it quickly. There we go. Uh, it gives us more of a 360 view out. We can see more monsters, more views. We can see inside better from out. I like it. That's how it was meant to be in the first place. Uh, let's put the glass away. Uh, and let's put the clay away. There we go. I'm going to put this clock back up somewhere. I'm not quite sure where. I think what I might do is I might just put it on the side of this furnace here. Seems like a good a place as any to put it. Uh, seeing as I'm very often around this sort of area, going in and out of the storeroom, this is the centre, and you can see it quite nicely from there. Maybe, 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 maybe I should put it somewhere else, but never mind. Okay, let's do um, the uh, since last time. So since last time, uh, the X I, I built a building to get in and out of the XP farm. Uh, because the XP farm was finished a few episodes ago, and I've built a building to get in out of there, so I'll show you that later. Next, uh, I worked on the land. Yes, the land is a little bit flatter now than it was before. Uh, there's some patches of stone that was in the grass that I've took out and replaced with the, with grass, so that's done too. Uh, laid more paths. Yeah, mainly um, dug. I've mainly dug some trenches to lay paths. Uh, you'll probably see them later as we head over to the XP farm. Started a mine shaft. That's pretty much done. It's a basic little shaft. Basically, all my armor and weapons and equipment are all getting really low on durability, and I need some diamonds. So I started a little mine shaft. We'll go visit that as well. Uh, I got mats for lamps. Well, we'll come back for the lamps. Uh, let's ha take a trip down to the XP farm and check out this mine shaft. Oh, and something I forgot to put on the list. It's a tiny thing, and that's how I forgot is that I've put uh, some fence posts with a torch on, I might get rid of the torch, um, outside of all the doors in the complex. So I'm able to uh, ride my horse uh, from one location to another. Uh, as you can see as we pass the rail workshop, there's a, a post on that side and a post on that side of the doors. Here's what I was talking about. We're going to have. I'm going to continue the path from the rail workshop out over here, because uh, this is where the Nether portal was, um, and then this is where the XP farm actually comes up. So let me just tether my horse up here. There we go. Horse tether. So um, welcome to the XP farm building. Obviously, I haven't done the path to it yet. Um, it's in the similar sort of style to the rest of the buildings, uh, but it's a little bit different because first of all, it's only single story. Second of all, it's quite small, and I kind of like it. it. I think it does the job. Um, I want all these buildings to be in a similar style, but all to look different. So those two are different shapes to each other. In fact, all three are different shapes. Uh, they're different heights. Uh, the workshop's two-story. This one's going to uh, the rail workshop. Oh, you can just see in the distance. The rail workshop's two-story with going to be an extra column on the top. Not quite sure how I'm going to do that yet, but I will get around to it. This is a little single story building, and I decided it'd look a little bit better with the doors offset. Um, just so it's not so perfectly symmetrical. I mean, I like think. Hang on a minute. Let's just take these off. I'm going to put them here and here. Yeah. Um, and also, I've got the new. These are the dark oak doors, the 1.8 doors. Um, 
I didn't know which ones to use. I thought I'd try Dark Oak first, and then I didn't bother trying any others, because I thought these golden handles go very well with the yellow theme of the XP farm. So in we go. Um, also, I'm doing different doors in all the buildings. These ones are just going to be plain, simple wooden doors. No technology to them, just nice and simple. Uh, yellow carpets, hiding, of course, glowstone lighting. Um, oh, and I put a glass ceiling in. I don't know why, I just felt, oh, let's put a glass roof in. Uh, see what it looked like. I might keep it, I might get rid of it. I don't know. Mobs can't really spawn there anyway. Uh, but uh, here we are. This is the uh, the entrance and exit to the XP farm. Uh, simple drop shaft down through some water. And this water is two layers thick because if you've got one layer thick and you get a bit of lag, you can actually take damage sometimes. Uh, and of course, you've seen this before. The XP farm itself, we're continuing the yellow theme. And uh, a minecart elevator. Uh, to go back up with using the new 1.8 iron trapdoors. No matter how much you click them, they will not go. And in fact, I'll just show you that on the back side of this block, and indeed all the blocks on the way... Oh, hello. Get out of here. Die. There we go. Uh, is, um, a, is a lever. And you can see the next one up there. Um, the levers are there for the trap. I think I can show you without it all falling. Yeah, that's how the trap door is when you place it. I popped a lever on, power the lever, and then it's this way around, which allows me to get back up. So I just hold down right click and bosh, I'm here. Uh, that's the only problem actually when you come up, if you're holding right click. Um, it's best to have like an ax or a torch uh, as you're climbing up. But there we go, uh, an entrance, nice quick entrance to the XP farm and a nice quick clean exit. Um, so I quite like that. Nice little building. Um, obviously, I still need to get the path sorted out. The other thing I was going to show you over this way is this. Um, I haven't finished it yet, and I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do it. Um, but there was a natural entrance into the hillside here where there was a little lake, a little pond. I've covered that in. Um, I've put some cobblestone down just to make it a little bit more worked on. I deliberately want this area to look like it's been worked on. And uh, some steps up into this little hollow that was already here. Uh, some little beams to hold the roof up and a path down. Um, you know what a mine shaft looks like. Um, I don't know if I can run. I can't really run downstairs. We won't take long to get to the bottom. And I've done the optimum shafting technique uh, for strip mining because I needed some. I need some diamonds. I've done a little bit already. Um, but in case you didn't know what the optimum is, if you press S3, uh, F3, sorry, at the bottom left-hand corner, you can see looking at, and that middle value is your is your Y value, and you want that to be five at the bottommost floor. You're looking at five, and then you strip mine through layers six and seven. You have eight as your ceiling. And then you do another layer where nine is your floor. You strip through la uh, layers. Uh, hang on a minute. Oh no! Oh, hang on a minute. Um, yes, that is right. Um, <laughs> your layers always want to be three apart because um, a vein is never. A vein is nearly always um, at least two blocks high. So if I'm down here and there's a vein, I can see it here, or it's in the middle. Or if I'm up here, you can see it here and it's in the middle. And then, um, like I was saying, this is a uh, floor is 10, then 11, then 12, and the roof is 13. Uh, the level layer 13 is not as efficient as the other layers I've mentioned, but it's better than not. Anyway, this is the most efficient way that I know of. Um, we could argue that, but I'm not going to. I've decided to put some of these abandoned mine shafts. I put this in here. It wasn't already here. Um, I kind of like the mine shaft, abandoned mine shaft feel, so I'm going to be putting these in every now and then, uh, just to give it a little bit of decoration. Uh, we're actually coming through an abandoned mine shaft. This is, uh, this is an actual abandoned mine shaft. This is the one that the XP farms in. I'm stuck in a cobweb. So, yeah, somewhere around here is the XP farm. I have no idea where. Um, oh, a minecart chest. Oh, gold. I'm having that. Obviously didn't come this far out. 
Um, you may notice I haven't got the Sword of Destiny on me. I lost it in a fight to a Creeper. I'm not sure how. Uh, I'm not sure if it's... Um, whether it just ran out of durability without me noticing, which is likely, or whether instead of um, stepping forward and attacking the Creeper, instead of pressing W to move forward, I might press Q to move forward uh, and not... So I accidentally threw the sword and then the creeper blew up. So I reckon the Sword of Destiny got blown up by a creeper. Not 100% sure, but um, it was one of the things that I'm least worried about. Uh, I can quite easily replace that. Uh, in fact, I want a new one anyway. So um, that is the entrance to the XP farm. And that is the little mine shaft that I've built. I will probably not do any recording of me doing any strip mining down there. I don't think anybody wants to see me strip mine um, and again a little post to tie up my horse um, so let's just get my horse and head back to the workshop so um, this horse is all right it's not really the best to be honest we need we need the horse of destiny junior we need to start breeding them so I think um, quite high up on my list now is going to be the horse ranch um, I just realised that I just opened the door. There we go. Um, okay, I, I didn't consider that. We need him to get out. There we go. Um, yeah, quite high up on my list now. I've, I thought I pressed that. Yeah, to do uh, is the horse ranch. Um, Tidmouth, your stuff is still here. Um, so we need to get a little nether base going. I've done a mine. Sorted. Uh, main path through. Oh, I just need to sort the ceiling out on that. I'll do that later. Path to Spawnville. Uh, that'll take some time. Harbour and Castle. A house. That's my next big project. The house. And I might do it next episode. I want a monorail around this area to get around quite quickly. But I've actually changed my mind. I don't think I want a monorail. I think I'm quite happy just using my horse and walking. Everything's quite close by, so let's get rid of that. I don't want a monorail around here anymore. A rail station and a wood farm. Yes, all very good things. Sky dock and horse ranch. Did I put horse ranch twice? No, I didn't. So, house next, then probably horse ranch. And then maybe rail station, and then maybe sky dock. Ooh, I haven't shown you the flying machines. Um, Have I got any spare sticky... Uh, slime blocks. I have a couple. Let me see if I can figure out a basic flying machine. Because some of you are asking about that. Uh, I'm going to take these and make them into uh, redstone blocks. Uh, I, oh, a little bit of lag there. And bosh. Right, okay. Um, now I'm. Oh, it's night time. Let's go upstairs and. Oh, that works so nicely. Um, sleep through the night. See if I can remember how to build these things. Um, not entirely sure. We'll have a go. Plus, it's a little bit dangerous to do, because if you can't catch up with it and destroy it, then it just goes on forever. Uh, right. Let's put a block here. Right, now, there is a basic premise. Let's do... Oh. Let's do that... See, I might have to double check this because I haven't really planned. Yeah, I'm going to just quickly double check this because um, I'm not one of these people that likes to necessarily copy something exactly. I don't like to look up how to make an XP farm or or how to make um, that rail entrance to that building there. I like to get ideas from existing stuff, but then just figure it all out myself. Uh, right, now, I am... Oh, 
I'm not sure if any of these are sticky pistons, to be honest. Um, uh, yeah. Let's try and do it without sticky pistons to start. And we'll see what happens. Okay, so... Piston, piston, and then need another slime block. There, right. Oops. Oh no, wait, that, that, that's right. It is correct. Right, so either this will work, or I need to replace one or two of these with sticky pistons. Um... Let's put that there, and that there, and just need to update that. Ooh. Uh, that did something. I think... This one needs to be a sticky piston. I think this probably does as well, actually, come to think of it. Whoa! This is going the wrong way. Uh, if it's going the wrong way, I'm guessing maybe this one needs to be the sticky piston? I think so. Well, that's interesting. Maybe they all need to be sticky pistons. Well, that is an interesting contraption. Uh, music sound. Let's turn the volume down. That's not quite how I planned it. One of those should not be a, uh, a sticky piston. Um, I've had this right before. I have indeed. I remember Seth Bling's... Let's say that this one's not. Oh, this is going to be difficult. Thought I was going to be almost impossible to stop then, but that's another thing that I'm worried about doing this as well. I'm worried that I'm not going to be able to stop this thing. I might have to come back to this. I well and truly broke it. Um, okay, I might come back to that. What was I, what was I going to do? Oh yeah, lamps. Um, Yeah, we'll do lamps in a second. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to I'm just going to I'm just going to check with Seth. Um, I'm going to check out one of his videos. I've got it just here next to me, so I'm going to have a look at where is it, Seth? Show me the the flying machine. Show me the decent one. No. Although, there it is. There it is. I can see it on the screen. Get it out of the way. Okay, so... This one... I'm checking out how... The design is by... Dolferus. And... 
that looks like a normal one that is a normal one right let's just go back a second oh dear I apologize for this folks so this one wants to be a normal piston that's for sure Oh, how did I manage that? There we go. Um, this one facing this one, I think, is the sticky one. Then we want the slime blocks and the rest of the pist pistons. Now, I'm fairly sure... Now, the only one I can't see on the... Vi Where's the slime block? Oh, there it is. It seems to bounce away from me. Uh, the only one that I'm not sure about on the video is um, this one at the back. I'm really not sure if that's sticky or not. But this is the basic concept behind uh, the fly machine. So let's see if I can... Okay, I think... I think maybe we've got this, just maybe this one. No, it's doing this again. Damn it! Stop! Stop doing this thing! Uh, oh, the slime block is the easiest thing to take out there, by the looks of it. Um, maybe, th maybe this one isn't sticky then. Maybe it's not. Oh god, that's going to take forever. There we go. Hmm. Yep, yep. Definitely coming back to that. We will, I will set some up and demonstrate it next time. I've, I, I've had enough of that. Right. Um, so, uh, in here I've got some materials that I'll be needing. Actually, let's throw this gold ore into the furnace. Um, let's put these items in here because I don't need them right now. And I will be needing a lot of nether, qu uh, nether quartz. Yeah. Uh, a lot of and glass and the reason for that is is I'm going to make some daylight sensors and I'm going to make a whole stack of them now I had to take a quick trip into the ne nether to make these and oh actually I think the glass is on top and bingo there we go daylight sensor got a lot of them uh, next thing I need a lot of um, redstone lamps I already have 37 but I need at least a stack. Uh, so let's make some more. Now, I think it's just glowstone and redstone like this. Yep, yeah, there's the lamps. 64 and 5. That'll do. That'll do quite nicely. Um, put those lamps away. Put that redstone away. Don't want them. So dilate since our lamp. And let's take some cobblestone. So I'm going to make, I think I'm going to make, hmm, I want to do a stand, and I think a cobblestone stand is probably, I'm not really sure about a cobblestone stand, to be honest. Uh, put them back, put them back, lads. There we go. Don't want it. Uh, wood. Let's make it out of wood. Uh, what sort of wood, though? Dark oak wood? Dark oak. Yeah, I like, I like dark oak. Uh, we haven't got much, so I'm going to have to just grow some. So let's just grow a dark oak tree. Bit of bone meal from in there. Let's just head outside. To my failure of a fly machine. But basically, the idea is, is that you use pistons, slime blocks and redstone blocks to make some sort of repetitive movement item. You saw it was moving around. Um, right. No. No. Deda, and then Shazam. No? Oop, I missed. Yeah. 
Oh, that's used up all my bone meal. I did not grow. Or is it too... Ah. Is it too close to the corner of that? Nuts. Might well be. Let's go get some more bone meal. Uh, right. Uh, I should have some more in the farming chest. Yes, plenty in the farming chest. Oh, we can put those poppies away. Not many monsters about. Oh, wait, there is in the distance. I should not complain about that. Bosh, there we go, tree. I love this tree. It's a good tree to uh, manually farm. Uh, it's, you know, it's nice and big. You get quite a lot of wood out of a bit of growth. Then again, I don't know how much bone meal it normally uses. Probably about the same as the other trees, I don't know. I don't know if it has any more growth phases. Uh, the wood doesn't get too spread out, even though it's uh, quite. you get quite a lot. Though you do need four saplings, so I'm hesitant to celebrate about that. Right, there's a sapling already. I need to get some of them together. Right. Uh, now, we can make dark oak fence in 1.8. Can I just sleep? Yes, I'm going to sleep. Too much stuff going on. Ah, there we go. Um, let's head outside. Actually, I need to use the crafting table. So, let's get a shed load of sticks. Oi! Set me on fire. Right, um, so let's make lots of fence. I'm going to make way too much fence. There we go. So I've got fence, I've got redstone lamp, and I've got daylight sensor. Let's head outside and put some lamps up. Uh, let's do one here. Let's have it like... Oops. Too close. That. Yeah, actually, the dark of that does link in quite nicely with the lamp. Um... Just going to need a lamp to stand on to put the daylight sensor on the top. And there we go. Daylight sensor lights up the lamp. But we don't want that like that. We're going to hold down shift, click on the daylight... No, not shift. We're going to right click on the daylight sensor. Is it shift? Is it alt? There's something that you can do with the daylight. Let's try it with nothing in my hand. What the? I'm sure they took it and put it in this version. That is what? Maybe, maybe you have to do it from the top. Is this spider annoyed at me? It appears so. Go away. There we go. Right. Oh, there we go. I think... You just click on the top and it becomes inverted. It's a daylight sensor and night light sensor. Is it still generating an output though? Oh, it is. Is that a bug? Hmm. Let's have a look here. Well, it is daylight now, so it shouldn't be on. This is weird. Why is it on in day and night? You should be able to change the mode and it not make a difference. Um. There we go. So, if I put a daylight sensor down...
we can see oh god it's going all the way right when you've got no nothing there at this time of day this one's the same okay but then when I go and click on it well that one powers up oh hang on it is it has powered off Must have just been the time of day. Well, there we go. That is my uh, my lamp that I'm going to be using around the complex. Um, to be honest, uh, I, the only thing I wasn't sure about was the the base, the stem, uh, the pole. And to be honest, I think it looks brilliant. This wood matches the wood on the side of the sensor quite nicely. Um, so let's find some more places to put these. I've got one there. Let's have one on the other side as well, I guess. Let's put one here. Like this. There we go. Oh, lovely. Liking it. Um, a bit of redstone. I'm just going to put these along the paths at various different points. Uh, let's put one here. There we go, like that, and like that. Yep, that's updated. Possibly, it might have been just lag previously. Um, let's put another one here. Oh, this is going to look awesome. This complex is going to be fantastic. Ooh, there we go. I thought you had to hold down shift to get these things to switch. Apparently that's not the case. Okay, let's put one on the path over here. Uh, as you can see, I've also started leaving little tufts of grass around the place um, when I was cultivating flowers. I suppose the real joy will be what this looks like at night. Um, let's put another one here. No, I didn't want to dig a hole. I was just trying to take the flaming torch out. Yeah, I've got a whole stack of these babies to put up. But I probably won't put them all up now. Uh, I'm just going to put some key ones up. There we go. Oh, they've all just turned on. Why is that? The sun's starting to head back down. So it seems to be from this sort of angle all the way through to that sort of angle. It's only the top of the day when they're when they're not on. But it, it's nice nonetheless, I guess. Um, let's have another one about here. It's a very nice addition that they've been out there that they've put that in. It means you don't have to Im these massive lamp designs that we had previously with some of them with pistons in and all sorts. Uh, we don't need them anymore. It's uh, it's all very nice. Let's put a one here and one here. I'm so excited about how this place is going to look later. Give it probably about four episodes, I reckon, and this place is really going to start coming along. Uh, that one is night setting. That one's the night setting, too. There we go. Um, one here? Yeah, one here. Or there. Yeah, there. Where's my axe? Come back. Too many things on my hotbar. That's another thing as well. Um... They should really make the hot bar at least one more long. You've got the number keys to select different items. And number zero doesn't do anything. And really, I think they ought to do minus and plus as well. Because they don't normally do too much on the keyboard in terms of Minecraft 2. So you could add three more onto that hot bar and it would not be a problem, Mojang. There you are. There's my request for 1.9. A longer hot bar and um, glass slabs. Actually, I'm not sure why you would have glass slabs. 
glass slabs is just one of those things like we've got lots of slabs of wood we've got slabs of different things to be honest this should be a polished block for stone so you should be able to have um, stone slabs that look like this actual stone you should be able to have that and then we ought to have polished slabs and polished blocks um, right, I'm going to head all the way down shall I head down this path yeah let's head all the way down I'm going to put a, th a few in some important places um, I'm going to start near the mine shaft and work my way up to the nether portal um, the compound's looking starting to look quite good I think it's getting there um, let's put one here because I'm probably going to turn that little bit there into grass later so pop a lamp on top and remember to invert it there we go let's put another one here there we go Ugh. oh yeah I need to get the path in here it'll look a lot better when the path's in let's put so it's right next to the horse post but never mind uh, I don't think it's really going to get in the way not properly there we go and let's put one in the middle of these two over here yeah my sheep got away um, they all ran off I have no idea why um, they just snapped off their leash and just legged it uh, is there any sort of mathematical pattern going on here no no there isn't I, I'm just placing these lamps all over the place I think if there was in a perfect pattern it would annoy me because not all the roads would allow for the pattern to be perfect at all points oh yeah you don't have to click it on the top uh, let's put one over here and also this extra light will help with fewer mob spawns it'll be nice to be able to go around the compound without being constantly attacked like I have been recently there we go I don't know whether I should uh, take down uh, the old uh, workshop the first base of operations in this area um, let me know what you think in the comments today I'd like to know um, if you think I should take it down um, or whether you think I should leave it up as it is or whether you think I should convert it into something else so let me know what you think oh, I'm liking this they're actually producing quite a lot of light let's just check the light level so obviously the light level directly beneath it is 14 that's quite good uh, let's go and walk to the next lamp 15 uh, hang on a minute, light oh, here we go 9, 8, 7, 6 there was a 7 and a 6 in the middle here uh, which means it is possible for monsters to spawn but I don't care if it's not perfect um, just having it reduced would be nice I think I, yeah I'm gonna put one on the corner here go away you t oh god I probably shouldn't be doing this at night get out of here Ooh, XP that's something else I wanted to do today I wanted to see if I could get some decent st stuff built for my XP uh, there we go lamps on probably head down into the XP farm in a bit uh, just get myself up to level 30 and uh, see what I can find uh, in the new XP tables uh, right still got quite a few of these to go oh I'm loving this 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 looks good um, I'm gonna put one here and here as well like I say I don't want this to be in a perfect pattern um, the only pattern I'm doing is that they're always one away from the path and one away from the corner in both directions. In terms of the spacing, I'm just doing it any old, any old who. Um, and I think I'm going to put some glowstone trees in. 
And by glowstone trees, I mean a tree where the top log is glowstone. So you can't normally see it very well through the leaves. It just gives you that extra, extra bit of light in an area. And also the trees, I think, will look nice. We don't... Oh my god, no, no, no. Well, that's what happens when you turn the game volume sounds for something else and then forget to turn it back up again. If I'd have heard him walking up behind me, I might have got away with it. See, so I can hear that skeleton all the way over there. Die. That was a terrible first shot. Um, let's fill that in there. Um, I don't know if I've got... I haven't got enough to fill this in properly. No, I haven't. I'll have to come back and fix it. Anyway, I've got, to, I've got to lay the road anyway later. Oh, they knocked the lamp out! Oh. I lost a lamp. Um, I think... I'm not sure about this. I really... No, I'm not sure about that either. That, that's a worse idea, Hellish. What are you doing? There we are. Um, maybe just one? Or, or maybe I could make it out of nether brick. The, the, the bait. Oh, for crying out loud. There we go. Yeah, maybe. But for now, I'm not going to. For now, I'm just going to put one here. God, ever, ever since Mojang changed zombies, that they spawn another one when they're under attack or whatever it is. It's been quite annoying. Uh, and then, what, one here? Yeah, one there. In we go. So yeah, unfortunately, um, I wasn't able to do this episode live. I wanted to. Uh, I always want to do as many of these episodes in this series as live as possible, uh, but it's not always the, going to be the case. I mean, I do uh, not only have a job, but I have uh, other hobbies. Uh, I have um, a family, a fiance friends and things oh god it's it yeah I, i'm amazed i managed to get done what i do anyway i i don't know how i do it it's it, it baffles me um i don't think i'm going to go any further that way for now i think what i'll do is i'll just link up this set of lamps with that set of lamps and we'll, we will call it there with the lamps there we go maybe maybe even start to lay the foundations of my house I really am looking forward to this house because I'm hoping it's going to look awesome. Um, it might not look awesome though. Uh, I'm not the best designer and builder. Really, I wish Lady Hellish played um, played Minecraft because she has got a good eye for uh, design things. Uh, in fact, her degree was a design-related degree. Uh, at university. Hello, I'm putting lamps up so you're not going to be around so much. Or at least maybe not so much near the paths. Which would be quite nice anyway. Uh, right, uh, let's have another one over here somewhere. There we go. Might have to make more of these. And that'll mean another trip into the nether to get more of this, uh, to get more quartz. Right, so if I do one here, and then I've got to remember. No, hang on a minute. If I do one there, not there, that's good. Then I can put one over here, and then one there. Let's take these torches out. We don't need these torches now. Everything looks awesome. It's all fantastic. <laughs> Right, creeper, creeper, creeper. Got him. Oh, for crying out loud. I need to get some more 
lights in. We're going to have to get some hidden lights as well. Uh, there are various different ways which you can hide glowstone. Under carpet's one of them. Obviously, you've seen me do that already. I'm going to try and do some more in different ways. Come here, you little beggar. There we go. Uh, I want to still do some enchanting. Oh, God, they're everywhere. Right, you die. You... The sun's coming up so soon. I can see... Actually, this XP is quite good. I'm not going to complain too much. Uh, right. Oh, zombie chicken. All right, let's try and get the zombie and not the chicken. I don't know if you can get the chicken, actually. Huh. Do not know. Ugh. Nice one. Oh, I love these lamps. I think they're great. Not everybody's going to like these lamps. If you don't like these lamps, I, I apologise. Um, it, it's it's my lampiness. They're a bit techy um, because they turn on and off automatically. Um, but that is really it. Um, they're very simple. And that's what I want. Nice, simple, clean cut lamps. There we go. Uh, that's all the lamps I'm going to put up for now. Uh, I'm going to put these back in... Oh God, I'm getting really quite poor frame rate at the minute. Something must be going on on my PC again. I need to get this thing cleaned up a little bit. Um, but let's head inside. And I'm going to put the lamps away in one of these chests. And the sticks. There we go. Let's get a sign. Oh, I already had signs. And just put to-do list, more lamps. There we go. Um, so I'll put some more lamps later. Let's get rid of some of this stuff in my pack. Uh, I, oh, I didn't cultivate the rest of that dark oak. Uh, I've got in just enough saplings though. Just enough. Let's get rid of this. Get rid of. God, I hate putting away mob drops. I might make an automated system for mob drops. Uh, in which case, I'd have to move these mob drops down to the bottom here, and then put some sort of underground, upside down sorting system, which could work. Um, you yeah, know, it, it could be fine. Right. Uh, I don't need sticks. I don't need redstone. Put the redstone away. But what I am going to take with me is I'm going to take a shed ton of iron. Because I want to make some iron, decent iron armor. I've got this um, looting sword. It's a looting two. Ideally, I want looting more than two. Uh, sticks away. I want to take some books with me. There we go. Right then. Um, what we got up here? Oh, lapis. I'll need some lapis. There's not much lapis there. I'll take... I will take... Some lapis from here. Yeah, let's take all that. Nice one. Just double check the ender chest. Hmm. We need to do... We, I do need to get my items fixed up. Alright. Is that my horse? Oh, my horse is here. Hello, horse. We're going to head... Yeah. Yeah, I've just decided these lamps are cool. And in the midday sun, they should turn off as well. Which would be nice. I mean, it'd be nice if they turned off once it was sunrise. Um, but... Oh, well, never mind. Um, where am I going? I'm going to the XP farm. Let's get that lead tie the horse up, hopefully it doesn't wander off too far. There we go. No chicken, never mind. Right, down to the XP farm. Nice and quick. Uh, let's let some spiders in. They won't all... Um, this far one doesn't spawn when you're up here. Uh, this near one does when you're around here, and there's one up there that also spawns uh, when you are around here, but the reason why I wanted to come to this bit first see look, we've just got some spiders there and I can hear the ones up here as well um, 
I need to repair some stuff. I need to eat for a start. There we go. All this needs repairing. I haven't really got the diamonds to do it, so in between episodes I'm going to go down the mine shaft and get some diamonds to do that, hopefully. But I want to know what my current enchantments are. So, for a book... At 28? Uh, that should be level 30, not 28. Uh, have I got any wood? Done. No wood. I'm going to have to just nip upstairs and get some wood. Um. Damn it, I hate the fact that there's no trees nearby. I'm gonna have to start. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna place around a few trees. I'm gonna pop down some saplings, and oh, hang on a minute. This will do. I'm gonna make another couple of bookshelves because I'm not sure why it's playing at me saying I've got 28 levels on that crafting table. That crafting table's got 14 bookcases uh, around it. As far as I'm aware, you need 13 for level 30. Um, but I may be mistaken. They may have made a change again. Although they did, they did change the crafting system recently. So maybe they made that change with it too. Uh, okay, down we go. Interestingly enough, you can actually go down the mine, uh, the minecart elevator. Um, you just need to step in on the right-hand side, I think. Yeah. But the only difference is there's nothing to stop you at the bottom. Which I completely forgot about and nearly killed myself. Um, right, yes, bookcases. Let's make two. There we are, bookshelf. Right, one, two. Are you going to let me do level 30 enchantments now? Yes. Alright, I'm not going to argue too much. Fire protection three. That could be good for nether stuff. That's quite good. I want a fire protection suit for going into the nether. I want water breathing suit for not going into the nether. Let's just hold off on that book for now. Um, let's pick up these books. Books, books, books. Oh, just going to turn my volume down a bit as well. Music and sounds. Uh, hostile creatures going down to 20%. 20 Twenty percent. There we go. Um, it's interesting that I I had that on nineteen and twenty one. Both would have been adequate, but I made I made sure I changed it. And the reason was that is that I want it to be a nice round number. Lady Hellish is exactly the opposite to me. She likes um, she likes her numbers not to be nice and round. When she's adjusting the volume on the telly, she won't put it to fifty. She'll put it to forty nine or forty eight. And it's the same with her alarms. And I'm the opposite again. Um, she'll set a 6.58 alarm, but I'll, sit, I'll set a 7 alarm. Um, we'll do chest plate just in case. I don't think there's any decent enchantments I can get on chest and legs that is going to help the situation. Um, right, so let's just check everything. So, on the helmet I can have respiration 3. <gasps> That's a good one. Uh, I really want respiration. Uh, let's see, what can I get on there? Depth Strider! Oh, I really want Depth Strider. And I also really want Fire Protection. Uh, what can I get on the legs? Protection. No, I'm not bothered about that. Unbreaking. Not bothered about that. Let's go with Depth Strider. Uh, it costs. It says level, uh, level requirement is 30 to unlock. I'm not level 30 yet. Um, but we've got a load of spiders in the spawner, so let's just block them in. Damage them up. Got a few here that are caught, but they should drop down. Alright, oh, what is? That? I might have to adjust this glass. Anyway, let's just kill these guys off. Not quite level thirty. Okay, open it back up again. We'll get a few more in. Ah, uh, I think I might. I need some item frames. I think I'm going to put. Like string in one of these and spider's eyes in the other, so anybody can dump string and spider's eyes in there. And it can be a good place to come and pick it up as well. 
Right, well, uh, we're drawing close to the end of this episode now. Uh, like I said, it hasn't been a live one, unfortunately. Now, that's what's causing the problem. I'm stood up there, and these guys are going up. Maybe... If I come down... Um, if I stand here, I don't know. I, they might come downwards. Uh, I need a couple of blocks to get back up. Right, let's see if that works. Nope, they're still stuck up there. Might have to work on a way to get these guys so that they're not stuck. I might put a water flow. They they don't normally get too stuck. Normally they, they come in. It's only when I'm up there. Uh, let's block these guys in and... Kill them off. Come on, I just need level 30 for this one enchantment. I want Death Strider. Hey, level 30. Oh, actually, you may as well kill them. There we go. In you come, my pretties. And my first 1.8 uh, now. You see, this is the weird thing. You required level 30 to unlock it, but it only cost three levels to enchant. There we are. And Feather Falling as well. Interesting. Uh, I don't think I need anything else on those Iron Boots. That's quite nice. I'm going to make another set of Iron Boots. Uh, just so that I have a set to test with. Um, but let's check out the next seat. See, I'm level 27 now, so I only need three levels. Uh, Iron Helmet. We now get Projectile Protection. That's no good. Don't want that. Protection. Don't want that. Don't want that. Projectile protection, don't want that. On the book we get power 4, don't really want that. What am I going to do if I don't want anything? Um, I'm going to make a cobblestone shovel. <laughs> and enchant that. Uh, oh, actually no, a sword. Um, if I can get looting 3 on a sword, that would be quite good. So, let's just check out the sword. Sharpness 4, nah, we don't want that. So, um, yeah, let's make some cobblestone shovels. There we go. Um, we'll do the one that requires one enchantment at the top there, the efficiency one. One lapis. And there we go. We've got an efficiency cobblestone shovel, which I'll be able to get rid of later. Right, which leaves me with sharpness on the sword, unbreaking on the helmet, Feather falling on the boots could be quite good. Unbreaking. I don't think the chest plate and legs are going to get anything that I really want on them, but they're there anyway. And the book. Bane of Anthropos. Well, that's not really anything I want. Let's check the iron sword again. Yeah, sharpness. Uh, it might be that I enchant another stone shovel. But I'm going to do a little bit of enchanting. Uh, I'll probably head down to... Um, what will I head down to? I head down the mine shaft and get some more diamonds to fix up my gear later. But that's all from me for now. Thank you very much for watching this episode. Hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, and until I see you sometime soon, uh, goodbye for now. <laughs>